As a farmer, one of our first aims should be to make sure that we are food secure. Once we know we can feed our families, we can then start to look at how we can commercialize the products we are growing and turn our subsistence farming into something more profitable. To start our journey, we need to establish exactly what kind of enterprise our farm will sustain, given its three main building blocks of soil, water and climate. Julius Abonio initially grew only maize on his farm, just as his neighbours were doing, but he wasn't able to feed his family on the small yields that he could produce. We did uh, what we call enterprise selection together with SCCV Agroforestry. And in enterprise, uh, enterprise selection, we are looking at uh, cost effectiveness, uh, the, the gross margin analysis. You compare a, uh, an enterprise with an enterprise. So I decided to select dairy farming because I realized the piece of land I have cannot produce maize for subsistence and for commercial because it is a small piece of land. For you to produce maize for both subsistence and commercial, you need almost from one acre onwards. So I saw my farm being so small, I selected an enterprise which the farm can sustain. And that is why, that's why I selected the dairy, the dairy farming. Once he'd chosen his selected product to farm, Obonyo's next task was to make sure he was maximizing the potential of the two main resources we all have under our control soil and water. His hard work, using various soil and water conservation techniques, paid off within a few years. On the part of the social life, now I have my kids and I'm able to take them to school. I pay for them the school fees. Uh, they are going to one of the boarding schools around within the, the community and uh, I'm paying the school fees from the proceeds I get from the farm. Uh, also, uh, I also have my, my wife, we work together with them, on the, together with her in the farm and we are able to be, I can say we are uh, self-sufficient, we have enough to feed the family and uh, we also have a, a surplus to take to the market because uh, uh, when we talk of com commercialization, you must have something also to take to the market to improve the income. So the social life has also improved. While it is very possible to start your own business from selling your farm products, for some it may be easier if you belong to a group, such as this one in West Songo, known as the West Songo Area Marketing Enterprise, or Wesame. Wesame started in 2009 and provides a central place for farmers in the sublocation to gather their produce and market it collectively through KenFab, the Kenya Federation of Agricultural Produce. We felt that we needed to come together to solve our problems as farmers. And the first problem being how to market our produce because members of the community, some were growing crops, but they did not have means of getting them to the market. So we decided to come together to be able to get market for our produce. And the other reason that made us come together as a co community to form Wesame was that we felt that if we did large-scale farming, we would be able to grow up economically because as a group, we'll be able to solicit for funds together, get the required seeds and the required technical knowledge, and then we would be able to advance in our farming methods. Wasame is formed from 15 different groups within the community. It has 101 members, who are divided into three commodity groups, horticulture, roots and tubers, and livestock. Each has an officer in charge who will act as an advisor, and all are managed through the committee, which has been carefully chosen to represent the community. It's very important that the committee be comprised of um, people from different age groups, because you will need them. You will need the young, you will need the old, and you need the middle age. The other thing to be considered is the educational background. You must have them all mixed. And uh, the other thing also that needs to be considered is the 
social exposure because that one will also come in um, to be very important when it comes to attending meetings and going places, uh, doing farm visits and things like that. The first thing the group did was to work out their objectives, their mission, their vision and their goals. We listed down the areas we were having difficulties in, in our lives, and out of those areas, we came out with the, with the aims, or we came up with the aims. Many people expressed that um, they did not know what to grow at what time. The, uh, the rains were so unpredictable, and so crops were failing and most of the time there was not enough food in the, ha in the homes or in the houses. And so we decided, I mean, we, we drafted our vision and which was to have a poverty-free household. So poverty actually, to get rid of poverty was the underlying factor that we were trying to fight as a group. And the only way we could uh, fight that was through advanced farming or uh, good farming techniques. To achieve their objectives, the group worked together with SCCVI Agroforestry, who guided them on the kinds of products they could grow on their farms, the methods for growing the crops in a way that would be sustainable, and the kinds of crops that would be profitable given market demands and profit margins. It was discovered that sweet potatoes, watermelon, butternut, Pumpkins and onions were amongst the crops that would be best suited to increasing the farmers' incomes. They are also more suitable for the climate conditions the area had been experiencing. Well, the rains have been so unreliable. For example, this year we did not have a good harvest at all. So, with the introduction of the short-term crops, when the rains failed and we did not harvest enough maize, we grew sweet potatoes in a large scale. It only takes about three months for sweet potatoes to, to mature. Some even as early as two, two and a half months. So growing sweet potatoes has enabled us to overcome hunger. So we sell our sweet potatoes and we, might, we buy maize instead to get flour. Now the things like pumpkins and uh, butternuts also help uh, to give us soil coverage and the leaves keep the soil moist and so we conserve the moisture and thereby we improve the soil conditions. With the problems of climate change, it is also wise to consider a business that is not reliant on the rains. William and Fanwell Awiti, who are both members of Wasame, decided to pursue a hobby that they had learned from their grandmother, pottery. They turned this into a commercial venture. Yeah, the benefits we are getting from the pots, it's, it's good because we are selling them locally. People like the pots, traditional pots and other things. Apart from mostly during the dry season, if we have a good stock, we can sell a lot because we are not seriously working in the farm, farm products because of lack of water. So I think uh, during that, those dry season, we are benefiting out of uh, clay to sell. They have been very successful and even won an award at the Kisumu show for the design of their local stove. The stove has the potential to be highly successful, combining enterprise with environmental and social benefits. So you can even use one firewood for cooking whatever you want to cook. And after you have relighted the fire, the heat from here goes to the oven. And here the, the oven you see it is, and the heat comes around from the down and then goes out from the chimney. So, and right now you can see there is no smoke inside. We are now safe. The effects which comes from the smoke that we, we are now avoiding. So that is the ceramic jiko. And uh, 
the food after cooking the food you pack in the bowl and you put in the oven and then you close the oven and you go on your journey maybe you may put it here in the morning after tea you cook your food you put it here and you go to your safari and then come back in late in the evening you don't have time to waste to lighting the fire for cooking again you only pick up from the oven and you get on the table for your meals sasa na furahia kutumia hiyo jiko sana kwa sababu ya kwanza kabisa inatumia kuni kidogo naweza ayakisha na kuni mbili alafu baadaye kisha shika moto kabisa inaweza tumia hata kuni moja alafu kitu cha pili nafurahia sana sufuria yangu inakuwa inabaki tu safi haiwezi chafuka haraka for william and fanuel awiti being a part of a group has been extremely beneficial providing them with a chance to learn from organizations like SCCVI, expand their marketing potential through organizations like Kenfab, improve their farms and environment, and ultimately improve their standard of living. It has now enabled us to do farming as a business. And that way, every household has come up economically and also um, our diets have improved their nutritive value. The Awaka family are also part of a group that has won an award for their farm enterprises. They practice what is known as value addition, a policy that will help you make the most of all your farm products and resources. Value addition, tunaongeza mawaidha juu ya kila kitu tunafanya kwa shamba tuki tukilema tunaongeza ongeza kitu kidogo juu yake alafu tuta, tutapata mawaidha vizuri tutapata pesa vizuri tutapata faida zingine when you harvest your crops think about what you can do to earn more money from them audrey owaker and her mother make more money from the cassava by cooking cassava chips and by milling the cassava for flour to make mandazis and cakes, which they can sell. They also have other uses for the cassava. Miogo ina tusaidia kwa kuwa tunatoa starch yenye tunauza kwa shule na tunapata feather yenye tunatumia na hata tunasiaga iwe unga yenye tunatumia kupika chapati, mandazi, na hata cakes na porridge na pia inaweza kupikwa iwe ugali. Audrey and her sisters also have a business collecting and processing the plant known as Artemisia. Tulipanda Artemisia kwa sababu inatibu magonjwa mengi kama malaria, shida ya tumbo na imetusaidia kwa sababu hatu hatutumi pesa nyingi kwenda hospitali kutafuta madawa kwa hivyo ni kazi rahisi kama mtu ni kumgonjwa anaenda kuatimishia akisha kula anakuwa sawa tukisha toa atimishia wengine wanaweza kula matawi vile ziko ama wengine wanaogopa kula matawi tuna tunawawekea ikwe kama poda ili hata watoto waweze waka imeza kama wako mgonjo. Pesa yenye tunapata kuatimisha, tunatumia kupanda vitu zingine katika mashamba yenye inaongeza rutuba. Another group that has been able to substantially help its members is the Daraja Mbili Agricultural Value Added Products and Catering Group. Here the members concentrate on value addition by improving the value of their crops through processing and packaging. As part of their development, the group have acquired a sunflower seed press, which presses the seed into oil. Wakati tume sia gambego ina mafuta yake ina inafanana na hi na i tunaita crude oil na wakira tume weka kwa filter yote ina kujia ina kuwa kamahi kutoka kwa hapa kuna dawa yote tunaweka ya ku 
kufanya ikue, ikae muda mrefu tunaitumia ikiwa iko na mna hii. Na inaesa kutoka hapa baada ya kuweka kwa parking na kufaka, kuweka lebo na kufanya ceiling inaesa kuwa inaesa kama muda ya muda ya mwaka tatu from kutoka ha, sasa. E, sisi kama members tisi tuko, thati, tuko uh, salasina mbili na wakati sasa out growers wamepanda sunflower out, outside wakilete kusiaga ni kama vile unaweza kuchukua mahindi yako upereke kwa masini sasa wana tunawalipisa leta moja tunalipisa 10 shillings so tuki, tukisiaga, tukisiaga 10 liters we get 100 shillings from you hiyo ni faida tunapata kwa group faida ingine tena tunapata kwa group mimi naenda kwa samba kulima na mama anachukua atakuwa na mafuta ya kupika mama anachukua machine hiyo hiyo raw material analeta kwa machine anachukua mahindi tena na pereka kwa machine ya, ya kusiaga unga na mimi nimeenda kwa samba nikirudi lunch nakuta everything is is ready sijatumia pesa kuenda kununua mafuta sijatumua pesa kuenda kununua unga na hii vitu yote nimelima na nimetoa na nimekula vizuri the group have also diversified what they grow not only sunflower seeds, but also crops like soya beans. Soya is very high in protein and can be used as a meat substitute. Sasa hiyo inasaidia mwili unapewa wewe nguvu. Ukikula soya, ukikula tu usiku. Ukifika hata saa sita, bado unasikia tutumbo iko mzito kwa maana iko na uzito tena inasaidia mwili. Margaret Ocheng has learned how to cook using soya beans and makes soya cakes. Samani vile nilianza kuunda watu walikuwa naogopa kukula lakini vile walianza kukula ku test wamesikia ni tamu tena wamependa wanataka tu nitengeneze kila siku na hiyo soya utaweza kukula naye nini mchele ama chapati ama ugali. In addition to the soya cakes the group has worked hard on creating value addition opportunities with many other products, including pineapple juice, honey, sweet potatoes, and groundnuts. To these enterprises, we can think about ways of managing our money so that it benefits us. One of these ways is to form a village savings and loans group. Village savings and loans works by each member contributing a set sum of money every week, which is then kept secure in a box that can only be accessed by unlocking three different locks, the keys of which are kept by three different people. When a member of the group wishes to borrow money for a particular activity, for example, buying a bullock to pull a plough, or to buy some tree seedlings. If it's agreed by the group, the individual will be loaned the money and will need to pay it back with monthly interest within a certain time. At the end of the year, the interest is divided amongst the whole group. Tunafraia hii mambo ya village saving and loaning, kwa sababu ukilinganisha hii village saving and loaning na bank, utapata ni tofauti sana ju interest yenye inatoka kwa hii mambo ya village saving and loaning inanufaisha tu wana kikundi hainufaishi wana bank na ukienda kwa bank kukopesa pesa interest zote ni zao wewe hauwezi ukapata chochote kutoka kwao alafu ukilinganisha tena hii mambo ya village saving na bank unapata wakati unaenda kukopesa pesa kwa bank Kule kwa bank kuna conditions zenye zinaweza zikakufanya usipate pesa. Na ukikuja hapa kwa village saving and loaning, ni wanakikundi tu ndio utaongea nao, hakuna kitu yenye utaitishwa kingine ndio upate pesa. Na utapata pesa kwa uraisi. This system allows you to invest in your farm and improve your livelihood as well as help you to save money in the long term. There can also be a social fund attached to the main fund, which is available for people who need money for social reasons, such as school fees or medical bills. This mambo ya village saving and learning ime nisaidia sana. Juni me nunua ngombe zangu na saizi mi naeza nikajilimia mwenyewe. 
Sasa hiyo naona ni faida kutoka kwa hii mambo ya village saving and learning na hata kuna mwenzangu hivi karibuni alikuwa mgonjwa kabisa mpaka akakuwa admitted Kisumu lakini alipokuja akatuambia mambo ya shida zake alikopeswa pesa na kaenda for minor operation na saizi anaendelea vizuri hata akitoa ushuhuda anasema amefaidika kutoka kwa hii mambo ya village saving and learning ju tuliona tumeiweka kwa kila upande kitaka business kila kitu yenye unataka tuko tayari kukusaidia uinuke mahali ulikuwa ukienda juu So let us remember that by protecting the environment through our farming methods we're ensuring we have a solid foundation on which to build our businesses and build a strong defense against things we cannot always control like declining rains or increasing temperatures above all we should remember that by working together we can empower ourselves and overcome even the greatest of obstacles if we come together as a group it will be easier for the agricultural officers in the community to reach us and teach us so that we all have the same knowledge and we grow the same things uh, in that way there won't be stealing of um, food from the farms and also by coming together and learning all these good farming techniques we will be able to maintain our environment to preserve it so that once we are dead i mean after we are we are dead the coming or the generation that's coming behind us will find that the land is still able to be farmed and is still productive you don't get